Find out why a man from one state chained himself to a local unemployment office. I am not kidding. And we have the article in here and I'm going to cover it. Which major company recently pledged to offer all employees $15 an hour and the shocking news of one state's decision on whether or not to end federal extended enhanced unemployment benefits early? I think you might be surprised. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday done with your tequila and your tacos. Here's your unemployment update for Tuesday, August 31st, 2021. My goal in these videos is to give you the best information to access government and private money for yourself, your loved ones, and your business. So stay tuned to the channel for business and personal finance videos, real estate, stock market, crypto, credit, and other investments to generate your income and save you lots of money. Also, join the channel by subscribing, liking, and commenting. You could win $2,000. Yes, $2,000 is being launched out to somebody. We're getting ready to give it away. All you need to do, join the channel by subscribing. Smash the like button if you like what we do here. Welcome if this is your first time. Throw a comment in the comment section and we're gonna pick a random comment when we hit 200,000 subscribers and boom, we're gonna launch out $2,000 and then we're gonna do the victory dance around. Also for hitting 200,000. Also grab your Weevil stock, two stocks valued up to 2,300 bucks. When you open an account, fund it with $100. They give you two free stocks. It's incredible. Check out my real estate program, $10,000 course, $99. Yours, you pay through PayPal, 36 videos, resource list, spend $45 million making the mistakes. So you don't have to. I don't want you to make the mistakes I did. They were painful, expensive, and you don't have to do them. For $99, you pay through PayPal. It's easy when to buy, how to buy, market cycles, even is now the time to buy? Well, it's covered in the course. Also, um, 2.86% financing and also where to get money even without using your own personal credit. Finally, thanks to all my Patreon supporters for as little as $3, humbly, a month. They support the channel, $3 a month. You can keep a YouTuber employed. <laughs> no, just kidding. And also, we give you five articles a week as well as a look under the hood of my investments, copy of my book and a bunch of other stuff plus personal contact with me for three bucks a month, it's pretty crazy. But first, a man from the gate, great state of Kentucky chained himself to a local unemployment office because he's tired of being broke. Yep, did Mitch McConnell come to his aid? Probably not, he was like, what, really? In Kentucky? Yes, in Kentucky. In an act of desperation, the man chained himself to a Louisville unemployment office yesterday morning and was met with resistance, believe it or not. Can you believe that? And police presence. Hmm, interesting. The man stated, quote, I don't want trouble, I just want help. I'm just tired of being broke. No toilet paper, no dish uh, liquid, uh, and I think he meant dish soap. No nothing. I don't have it, no money, end quote. Hopefully more unemployment assistance will be able to get to people like this man. We've had tons of people in the comments complaining about they haven't seen anything since March and been trying. All the people, the fraud that's gone on and everything else has gotten away along with offices being closed. This is definitely a reflection of um, part of America right now. As millions of struggling Americans are still in need of these vital federal extended enhanced unemployment benefits to help get through the day, the week, the months, and through this difficult year, 18 months, and some people I know in the comments have not been able to get it and are completely broke and stuck in the system. Meanwhile, a massive drugstore chain, Walgreens, has announced a new employee initiative pledging to offer all employees $15 an hour, November 2022. So next year, a couple months and a year, so about, what, 14 months? With the large company fighting for new employees, Walgreens hopes that beginning salaries of $15 an hour with potential for pay hikes can bring in support necessary to keep and get back on track and get the people they need. Walgreens CEO Buzz Brewer explained, quote, investing in the, and rewarding our team members is not only the right thing to do, it's highly important to retaining and attracting a talented workforce and to continue to serve our critical role in the community health care. Do you use uh, Walgreens? I'm curious. I do. I actually use Walgreens. I also use CVS. 
you know, I don't discriminate. With the drugstore already hiring 25,000 full-time and part-time workers during the course of the pandemic, Walgreens could be a great place to start working because a pay raise is uh, on the horizon. Anyone currently seeking new employment, well, maybe you might want to look at Walgreens because, hey, the wall is green, I guess. Finally, y'all know I hate to do this, but I have to be 100% real at all times to you. A judge in the great state of Florida sided with Governor Ron DeSante and, roll and ruled and stated to end federal enhanced unemployment benefits earlier in, in this sunshine state where we get our oranges. I don't know. Do you get oranges from Florida? I do. Judge Lu, uh, Lean, Line Smith states, quote, the state has a legal right to stop participating in the program. This decision belongs solely to the state's chief executive, end quote. I disagree. Do you agree? I, I disagree. I think it's federal. You're a federal U.S. citizen. You got a passport. You got a federal ID that's coming through the mix now. Aren't you also a, not only a state person, but a citizen person uh, of the United States? Do they, I mean, they're able to tax us, right? Federally, of course. So an attorney representing the state alleged, quote, nearly federal law, nor the, the Florida law requires participation in the CARES Act program, including FPUC, the boost. I'm so sorry to all my viewers in Florida, and hopefully the governor, government will offer, they're synonymous here, offer new disaster relief efforts through another unemployment benefit program to employment bonuses and pay increases across America. Hopefully they just don't like the rules in the program and they have their own. I'd love to know. Hey, DeSante, give me a buzz, man. I'd love to know. Just give me a call. I have you on the, on the show here. We could talk about it. I'd love a nice little debate with the governor. That'd be fun. If you still haven't applied for the unemployment assistance, get a taco, some tequila. After all, apply today. It's Tuesday. What better day? I'll gladly pay you on Tuesday. Some, there's a cartoon about that. I think it's Wednesday, though. Uh, simply check out your state's PUA and UI website. Show them your employment history or identification documents. You may have to use the ID Me, where you take a mobile phone and they do 3D recon recognition of your face to decrease fraud, which we've talked about as well. Uh, be as genuine, genuine as possible. Just tell the truth. Be honest and truthful. Answer those questions. You could receive a backdated check of all that gap in employment if you've had a lot of it of up to $20,000, $22,000 at this point. So don't miss out on those funds. If you know or are or think you know someone that is a gig worker that is self-employed and gets a 1099, is an independent contractor, or they've just got a side hustle, do them a favor. Send this uh, video to them. Let them know that the PUA was set up for them because still, people have no idea. They just don't think that it's possible, and it is. The PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, will help these people, you and others, with amazing government disaster relief funds. It's unemployment for the, for the independent guy, right? So please keep sharing your experience with the PUA and unemployment benefits in your state. Please stay safe out there. Share this with a friend if you don't mind. Check out my other channel. I got Rick James. They're dropping a documentary September 3rd. And the creators, a couple of the creators that were part of the documentary for Rick James, came over and sat with me and broke it all down. We got into it. One of the bankers that's working on a show here in Vegas to have a Rick James show, and also one of the creators that was part of putting it all together. Thank you for watching, I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care of yourself, love you. I think that he really resonated with a lot of it. I because I was, I was No less than 32 hours, 50 shows were sold out. How much did you spend on marketing? Really nothing. Yeah. Nothing? Oh, my God. heart craves off it. Please just tell me the truth. But, um, please don't get upset when I say this, but I got into the entertainment business for traditional talent.